What's up YouTube world? I just wanted to shoot this video because uh, I want to show you guys all the parts that I've uh, accumulated over the time. To so just want to show you guys everything I've purchased and uh, you can tell me if there's anything I'm missing that you guys have done. All right, here's what we got first is we have our Holly oil pan and we need this bad boy because it has the ground clearance so that the engine and transmission will actually sit inside the car or truck. Comes with its own pickup tube and all necessary gaskets and hardware. Bolts. gasket so for whatever reason I'm not seeing the pickup tube o-ring Unless it's this crush washer. We'll have to read the directions. Windage tray. Hardware. Bolts. Alright. Reading instructions. Okay. The first thing men ever do. All right, so continuing on. We got our bolt in um, engine mounts. This one actually will sit on the truck, and then this one on the engine side. Supposed to be bolt on, I already looked. The bolts do line up. We just gotta get um, our own hardware to uh, bolt it down. I also do have the Corvette filter and uh, return um, return line all built into the same regulator. So this thing will help. We have our Speedway Motors radiator. And the thing that I like about this thing specifically is that it has um, both uh, the hose outlets on the same side, on the passenger side, so we don't have to do a crazy crossover um, okay. to the upper um, outlet on the driver's side. So just shorter routing, um, radiator hoses and hopefully it'll stay out of the way to make room for like the electric fan um, and any other accessories that we may have. Okay. This truck is also going to have AC in it. So we do have our AC um, kit with this um, um, compressor that's ribbed for the style for the LS. I just got to figure out because it just has this power for the compressor clutch. So just have to figure out how I'm going to uh, wire it up. But the whole uh, adapter plate, the belt, tensioner, everything's there. Uh, it's because we want it to have AC.
And really, if it's too much of a hassle, um, if it's, if it's too much of a hassle, then we'll X out the AC compressor, just run it without, uh, just because we want to try and get it done as quickly as possible. But if we can make it happen in a timely manner, we'll get it done. All right. Next thing we have is our headers. Boom. And what I like about these is that they're V-band style, so it makes bolting and unbolting really quick and painless. I'm gonna just get the, the regular um the regular brand we get but just in a different size. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we need these um, this side shorty header for um, the driver's side so that it'll clear the steering linkage that's why it's really tight and it'll sit right up against the engine so that the steering linkage will clear and um, you don't know, be able to make it all work all the hardware gaskets bolts uh, I didn't really like the bolts so I'm gonna buy new ones they just kind of look a little cheap so uh, not a big deal we'll get it some you know good grade bolts make sure you keep that uh, exhaust manifold firmly uh, bolted down I also have purchased kind of like miscellaneous little items. Really didn't need to, but I wanted to go ahead and do it. This is a mass airflow, brand new one. I got the engine at the junkyard, so I didn't get the mass airflow with it. Just decided to go with the new one. Just ordered it online. It's this um, AA Ignition uh, brand, so Hopefully it works. Um, you know, worst case is uh, we'll make a parts list and make a uh, junkyard run. But I did the same thing with the oxygen sensors. Just bought new ones, Denzos. And um, it does look like the uh, connector is the right one. It has this like um, longer oval style uh, connector, four pin for the upstream oxygen sensors. Got two of them. And really I've been buying parts over, I think I've had the truck for a couple months, um, but just kind of been gradually buying parts. Bought all the big stuff first and then a bunch of the sensors and stuff. Um, like Amazon and whatnot. So it really hasn't been uh, a big expense, but just kind of uh, continually, little by little, uh, just kept chipping away at all the parts. Here's one of the major ones. Uh, more expensive one too is from uh, BP Automotive and this is the wiring harness. Now the great thing about this wiring harness is that it's plug and play. So it's going to bolt right up to the fuse block um, and all the connectors, the engine, everything and um, everything is going to work. Speedometer, uh, all the, the gauges, uh, ABS, everything is going to work like it should. So uh, it was worth the money. 
and I even went with the upgraded nicer um, loom covering so it's not that plastic stuff it's kind of like the mesh and I got the uh, this is for uh, relays for our fans I already took a look at this thing. I mean, it's awesome compared it to the original one. Here's a fuse block connector. And then what I really like is that, um, you know, they, they labeled everything. They did a really good job. So it says uh, to fan harness. I don't know if that comes out. You know, it has everything. Bank one coils, all of our injectors, just really nice computers. And what I did for the ECU is uh, the engine came out of a Tahoe, so I just grabbed the Tahoe ECU and um, just had it sent in to one of the eBay uh, VAT delete. Um, sent them the ECU, sent them all the different information from uh, the S10 and uh, the donor vehicle, and they're just gonna uh, delete the VAT, EGR, um, what else, the EVAP, things like that that we're not gonna need, and uh, send it back. So that way when we uh, wire it all up, we'll be able to fire it up. Oh, and it even hooks up to the transmission and I already checked it. It has all the right connectors um, for the transmission, uh, the speed sensor and to the um, gear, uh, gear shift or the gear position sensor as well. I mean, again, this wiring harness is gonna make the truck operate, run uh, like original and make all the gauges work, uh, check engine, ABS. So uh, again, it was really worth the, the money. Other things that we've already kind of installed was um, turning, because the factory engine in the S10 was a 2.2 with the 4L60 transmission. Uh, so the bell housing on that 4L60 was different. So I had to order a bell housing for an LS or 5.3 or a 6.0 um, that would bolt between the transmission and the engine. So that's already put on there. Show you a quick picture. And we got the guys putting on the oil pan right now. So I do have a list here of things that I still need. Um, in one of the previous videos, the torque converter that we had gotten for it didn't uh, wasn't tall enough, so we, we need a torque converter. It looks like I found the right one. Um, we're gonna need the rest of the exhaust, transmission cross member, uh, also a transmission cooler, and a fuel pump. Thinking about going with the uh, Walboro. I've heard it's more than enough for uh, to power this uh, LS. Uh, I also need some fuel line, uh, intake manifold gasket, and then we need to get the engine in to see how I want to do the drive shaft. If we want to use the factory one and just uh, shorten it, or if it's going to bolt up, I'm not sure. Uh, like I said, we won't know until we bolt the engine and transmission in and then be able to take our measurements from there. I also want to do a uh, shift solenoid kit for the transmission, a uh, filter fluid, um, I'm also going to need an intake, kind of like a, just an aftermarket one, power steering pump, and then we got to make the AC compressor work. And again, the AC compressor is not the biggest urgency. If we can make it work uh, quickly and easily, we'll do it. If not, 
we'll just leave it out but let me know if you guys um, can think of anything that I have overlooked to make this all happen uh, make it run and and really the more we keep doing these swaps uh, the faster and better we're gonna be at uh, not just doing them but knowing ex exactly uh, the parts that work and that we like to use and uh, we're gonna keep filming it and bringing you along for the ride so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video like subscribe and uh, if you have questions or tell me what you drive tell me what LS swaps you've done what have you swapped it into you know comment down below I'd like to hear it thanks <laughs>